was the first man from Earth prepared to set foot upon the moon. Since the earliest time, man has imagined this moment. I guess I got into space from a very young age. I've been building little model rockets and, and model aircraft uh, since I was a little kid. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to fly. I think the first memory that I have of anything aerospace related was probably waking up really early on Sunday mornings at about 5 a.m. Uh, and watching the Thunderbirds. So I was always really inspired when I would look up to the moon and thought, wouldn't it be awesome to be able to see people up there one day? Fast forward a few years, I'd left home, I'd come up to Brisbane, uh, I got my pilot's license flying aeroplanes. I really wanted to just have a go at flying myself. So I spent four years flying single engine aircraft, twin engine aircraft. The, the most awesome part was just taking off for that first time and, and really seeing uh, how light in the air you can be when uh, you're in an aircraft. That moment really sparked just the rest of my journey uh, into aerospace and into aviation in those fields. So while I was in class one day, I saw this guy with a SpaceX t-shirt sitting a couple of rows in front of me. So I had to go introduce myself. Uh, that's how I met Michael. And then a few days later, one of my good friends introduced me to Andrew. Uh, we all got together at one of the cafes at university. Yeah, I think it was in uh, second year. Um, I had just finished uh, the second semester, uh, the first semester of uni, and I was really starting to feel like I wanted to do more. I wanted to do something hands-on, practical. Eventually, we decided to build a rocket engine. And that was really the start of Valiant Space. It was at that point that me and Andrew decided to, um, to follow our passion and to sink our own time and our own money and to start from scratch and to, and to, to forge our own path, essentially. Um, and that, that's really where the essence of Valiant was born. So I don't think anyone can deny that seeing a rocket engine fire for the first time uh, is an amazing experience. And I think that the, the sheer power and the distance that rockets can physically take things, um, I think that's what draws myself and all of the Valiant team uh, towards our passion there. Uh, I think that, that rockets are the only thing that can take humanity and its ideas the furthest uh, and the fastest. And uh, I think that's just such an inspiring way of looking at how rocket engines and space technology can really advance us as a species uh, and really uh, just enjoy that, that sheer power that comes with it. One of the most important things for Valiant to me is just the ability to be able to contribute to the wider space industry, um, particularly from an Australian perspective. Um, and for someone like me to be able to do that in any way, shape or form, that's, that's incredibly humbling and it's a huge honour. Um, and to, yeah, that, that's, I, I don't take that lightly and I don't take that for granted. So to be a part of that as a part of Valiant Space, that is incredibly important to me. Um, to speak nothing of the bigger goals of um, enabling wider exploration into space and um, yeah, humanity's expansion into the solar system. So Valiant for me is not just about rocket technology, it's about working with like-minded people who are really, really passionate about space, um, building technology that you know, people might think is impossible to do, but just through sheer willpower, just pulling it off. So at Valiant, we've, we've got a really long road ahead of us. Um, we're taking things step by step because we know that each step is going to bring us closer to our bigger dreams of landing things on the moon, of going to Mars, and of really enabling space exploration to become a lot more available to the masses.